Hi there, my name is Brian Kelly. I'm a comms and IT volunteer with the Morris Federation. And this is the second talk of two talks on how can IT help your side. In this talk, I'm focusing on exploiting video. Now, Morris, sword, other forms of traditional dance are exciting. It's a visual experience. It's an audio experience. And although photos are useful, we've seen lots of great photos of Morris dance, it's really videos which helps communicate the excitement of, of dance, the intricacies of dance, the pleasure that we get out of dance and the pleasure that the audience gets from Morris dance. And so this is why we need to think about how we can make the most out of video. So we need the ability to create video easily and also to share videos easily and ideally for free. But we also need to understand how the audience responds to videos, online videos in particular. So capturing video is easy. Majority of us will have smartphones with decent video capabilities. And in addition, there'll be many people in the audience who will love taking the videos of your side dancing. Um, and they'd often be willing to share. So if you say to them, um, if you pu publish videos, here's our hashtag, our site hashtag. If you post it to Facebook or YouTube, uh, we might be able to find it. And if you give us permission, we can use it. And often people will be happy to do this. So getting the video can be easy. And sharing is easy. In a way, it's too easy because there are lots of different channels that can be used. YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Facebook Reels and TikTok and the like. So the challenge is the choice that we have rather than the scarcity. And that's a nice situation to be in. So, but how do people watch videos on social media? So there's lots of evidence that people need to be engaged straight away or then they'll scroll on. And that straight away is just a few seconds up to say two minutes. So the notion that uh, new people, new recruits in particular, are gonna watch a whole five minutes of a particular video, well, that tends not to be the case. So it's about engaging them quickly. And I attended a recent YouTube training course on how to create compelling videos and make lots of money. So that was a bit cheesy, but it was also relevant for creating videos for the Morris community. So catch the audience's attention right from the very start. It just scrolls in and before they scroll to the next one, you've caught their attention. And then after a few seconds, they go, mm, OK, I'm not interested in this. They're about to scroll on, swipe on but you need to re-engage a different scene, a different part of the dance, something a bit different. And you can't just have that short video um, and they go away with, oh, that was nice, that was amusing, that was interesting. But better, particularly if you want to recruit people, is to give them a call to action. So they see that and says, I wanna know more. So you have a few seconds in which to give them some information that they can act upon perhaps Google. So let's see how we do this. So I started ex my explorations in summer uh, 2022 for the Bridport Folk Festival. So I got in touch with a number of the Morris Fed sides who'd be appearing at the festival. And I said, can I use some of your YouTube videos or Facebook videos to do a promo video? And they all said, fine. And I made two, two, two videos, which are about 90 seconds, up to two minutes long. Um, they were happy with that. I got in touch with the festival organizers. They embedded the videos on the Folk Festival website. So the festival was happy, they got fresh content to attract people. The sides were happy because they got a bit of publicity and it was also publicity for the Morris Fed as an organization. So that was great. So I was quite pleased with that till I realized a couple of things. The videos were really too long and they weren't ideal for watching on a mobile device. The evidence, when I looked at the evidence from Google search, the majority of people who go to the Morris Fed website use a mobile device, not a desktop computer. So I really needed to have a different aspect ratio, portrait mode rather than landscape mode. 
And so I started to use some of the videos that I'd taken previously in the summer and at the festival. And these were just three uh, clips from one of the videos that I'll show shortly. So we have a short text. We have a video here, the name of the sides, uh, the action. Search Google for hash Festus Derryman or hash Knights of King Ina. And then at the end, some actions uh, that they can carry out if they want to know more about Morris Dance. Um, so that was the first clip I took, but uh, when I got feedback, um, I needed to tweak the colour scheme, so I fitted in with the Morris Verd colour scheme, and I also needed to have a plan for, so that was just one video I wanted to take, make uh, quite a number of videos on this, so I needed a plan. So I started to think about the different themes that one could have on what are effectively disposable short form videos. Remember those videos that you see on your timeline on Facebook or whatever? You see something, you might like them. If you really like them, you might share, but they'll often just disappear and it can be difficult to find them again. So these are effectively disposable short form videos, which in a way get people to think, oh, that's Morris dancing is interesting. That saw dancing is, is interesting. So the feel good factor with our, with our art form, our cultural form, but also some actions for people who want to follow a bit more. So a number of disposable short-term videos. So I did three to get a feel for it, a bit of a better uh, lens. Sorry, spelled proposed incorrectly. So what I intend to do is to do a series of these two minute long, up to two minute long videos, which might feature all the different dance styles, the different locations that we dance in, the fools and beasts, maybe on a special do on International Women's Day for women's side, the more general inclusivity, the dancers in different types of venues, pubs and festivals and, and the like. So that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> with that one and then the third one was after YouTube said you could have handles to the sides so this is youtube.com hash bells of London City so a number of the sides in the third have tailored the uh, handle like this at Westminster Morris I think it is so I've just got three videos and the angle here is if you want to find out discover Morris on YouTube it's easy to find them with this thing or you can just do a general search in YouTube for uh, for Morris dancing so the third one is make the Morris so again the standard thing of opening middle and here we have the end finish applause blah 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 and then at the end a general call for action so that's what I've been doing let's just hi world we're at oxford university morris normally on may morning we'd be up at 5 a.m and assembles on Magdalen bridge by 6 a.m with jack in the green ready to hear the choir sing hey don't be surprised if one day i just Let's go! Home for Folk Festival!
Walked out of my house today, this is what I was greeted with. An amazing sight of Morris dancers and hundreds of people, wouldn't say thousands, maybe hundreds, absolutely heaving in Warwick for the Folk Festival 2022. Um, I'm gonna go and pop to Warwick Castle and the Folk Festival and see if I can test out this new lens and camera that Ross has given me for the day. Hi. So basically, lots of views. So uh, it is being used and it's being viewed. And if you compare the, those numbers of views with maybe something on just on a Facebook post or on um, on a Facebook post to a Morris dancing, how many Morris dancers group? That's not appealing to new people. Whereas the TikTok is appealing to new people. And if you just look at some of the uh, Glastonbury are doing some really, really interesting work uh, with it. And if I just look over here, sorry, it's uh, covered up. There's a promotional which says we now dance on Wednesday night and that's had all, a thousand views. But perhaps more interesting is these, uh, the almost 1500 views of this clip, which is for Just Giving. There's two here which are Just Giving. There's another almost 500 there. So in terms of charity, doing uh, you know, showing the type of things that Morris Tancers are engaging with, charities and inclusivity, Glastonbury Board or Morris are doing some great stuff, stuff there. Um, so this just gives an illustration of some of the ways in which we can start to use video a bit more and I'm going to leave it there so although you might not you say you don't get it you don't use it you don't get it but those potential new members for your side may love TikTok and may want to find out more about your side through seeing what you've got about you on TikTok so something to, to think about some of the more general things I'd welcome your general thoughts on the ideas I have here if you'd be interested in learning more or if you have concerns that you have feel free to leave comments in the comments field, field below I'm hoping I'm intending to do a follow-up zoom workshop if you go to the Morris Fed website and look at the uh, list of events, you'll find something there. So I hope you find this of interest. And so that's less than 15 minutes for this video. So thank you.